Hello, this is Patrick Smith again, Chief Executive Officer of Brain Love Health. Today I'm going into part three of a series that we started last week that walks us through the issues related to Alzheimer's disease, Alzheimer's research, breakthroughs, non-breakthroughs, manipulations, fake data, all the things we've talked about in, in the last uh, three series. This is part three. And today my topic is going to be prevention. Now let me set that up and talk about what I mean by prevention. In part one of the series, I walked you through the last 20 years of manipulated data that was shown to be fake that focused our attention on the fact that beta amyloid plaques and tau fibrillary tangles were the causative factor of Alzheimer's disease. We now know, and I've explained, that the data that originally was published in 2005 related to that specific target was faked. And for the last 20, 25 years, research in pharmaceutical drug development was focused on trying to get rid of beta amyloid plaques. The problem with that is we have been able to get rid of beta amyloid plaques in the brain of Alzheimer's patients, but it did nothing to help their cognitive decline or help with their cognitive improvement. So ultimately we spent all that time, effort and money focusing on a target that is proven to be ineffective and actually faked. So with that in mind, I then talked about in part two, the story of Voyager Pharmaceutical. Now keep in mind, when Voyager Pharmaceutical was in the midst of trying to um, bring us an alternative theory to the marketplace, beta amyloid and tau phosphorylated tangles were the dominant focus of everybody in the research community. Consequently, anybody that had anything that didn't fit that narrative was squelched, squished, and pushed aside. Well, during those years, 2001 through 2009, Voyager Pharmaceutical had an alternative theory. And that alternative theory was that it was the dysregulation of the HPG axis, the hypothalamic pituitary gonadal axis, that was the root cause of the downward Alzheimer's cascade that we see over a 20 year period. We had some very positive human clinical data that indica indicated that if you were able to manipulate the dysregulation of the HPG axis at midlife and later, you could actually stop the progression of the disease. And we published that data and that data was um, circulated not as widely as we'd like to think it was circulated, but the data was valid and the data is still valid today. So that's part one and part two. Now I wanna move on to part three because that's really the real issue here. What can we do to prevent ourselves from getting Alzheimer's disease and other dementias? Now I kind of restrict myself primarily to Alzheimer's disease, because that's where I've spent the last 20 years of my life, looking at that particular issue. But this does apply also to other dementias that, that have been identified, things like Parkinson's disease, things like uh, frontal lobe dementia, cerebrovascular dementia, things of that nature, Lewy body dementia. Prevention can be applied to all these things. But let's get to what I believe to be the salient factor here that you need to understand as we embark on our prevention journey. I believe, and the research has shown, that the root cause of all dementias, primarily Alzheimer's disease in particular, is a dysregulation of the HPG axis. That is, when we reach midlife, at menopause and andropause, which is male menopause, when we reach those points in midlife, the hormonal changes that are occurring lead to the downward spir spiral of dementias and other things like that. And I might also add that I actually believe it's a significant contributor to many, many diseases of aging. Now, what's going on with this HPG axis? 
You've heard me talk about the fact that as we meet, reach midlife, our estrogen goes down, our testosterone goes down. Consequently, our reproductive uh, hormonal system is becoming dysfunctional. Now, why is it doing that? Because we're aging, we're getting older, and the things that drove that process as we were younger are now not working the way they did. Now, all this is driven by the brain, the hypothalamus. This HPG axis is triggered by the brain and then it secretes these various hormones that keep that cycle going throughout your life up until the point you reach midlife, menopause and andropause. Now, I believe that's the triggering mechanism for many of the things that we start to understand are causing the Alzheimer's process. Now, we hear a lot about ways in which we can prevent, prevent Alzheimer's disease and other dementias. And I actually believe in that 100%. I believe we have to have ways in which we can lower oxidative stress, lower inflammation, work with our glycemic index and our sugar overloads. There's many, many things we can do nutritionally through exercise, through other preventative techniques that have been shown to be effective. But here's the point. The root cause is the things that are occurring as you go through the midlife cycles of change reproductively. That's the root cause. So any preventative technique that we utilize needs to focus on ways in which we can deal with those hormonal changes. Now that's my number one priority in getting across to you today is the data we showed in the early 2000s showed that there was a dysregulation in the HPG axis. And when you lowered that dysregulation, you stopped the Alzheimer's process. You slowed it down. You kept it from progressing. Now that never made it to the market as a pharmaceutical, but what I'm trying to say is the research, the data, everything that went into that, into that hypothesis, that theory, is valid today. So as Brain Love Health embarks on a prevention strategy and ways in which we try to help all the people that follow us to keep themselves healthy long into their 70s and 80s from a brain standpoint and a cognition standpoint, goes back to the fundamental issue. We must find ways to balance out the hormonal changes that are occurring in midlife. Now, the, the hormone that I talk about the most, and you can see this on many of my live presentations which we that are on our website, Instagram and Facebook, um, at Brain Love Health, you can see me discuss and talk about the HPG axis. You can see and hear me describe that as our estrogen goes down and our, and our testosterone goes down, there's another hormone that is going up, 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 and it's that hormone I believe is the culprit in all these problems. Luteinizing hormone is the problem. Now our approach, before we do anything with oxidative stress, inflammation, and all those things, is to lower the peaks of luteinizing hormone, which go up, up, up as you go through menopause and andropause. That's what we focus on. So Brain Love's basic root cause fundamental focus is to balance out your hormones. Because if you don't do that, all this other stuff you do will help, but it's not gonna maximize your prevention techniques. You can eat better and we will help you do that. We will, you can exercise and we will make recommendations there. You need to sleep better, but that then relates back to your hormonal problems that you're occurring in midlife. You need to sleep better, that's a big risk factor. You need to have better social relationships. Well, that's just a matter of just interacting in the proper way. We also can give you recommendations there. All these things will add up to preventing Alzheimer's disease and other dementias. Now the data is starting to pour in that prevention is the only cure for these disease states, these dementia states, these, this Alzheimer's disease process. Nothing pharmaceutically has ever been shown 
to stop the progression of the disease or improve cognition. And now the data is coming in suggesting that if you interact in your life with the kinds of techniques that I'm suggesting, nutrition, exercise, sleep, you can not only prevent the problem from happening, but you can actually improve your cognitive uh, capability the way you are. Now, here's the issue that I always faced when I discuss this with people. The modern society we live in is designed in such a way that people want immediate results. They want everything now. They want to take a pill and see a result now. They want to, they want to read something and get an immediate gratification right now. What I'm suggesting is, of course we'd like all those things now. We want everything immediately. Unfortunately, taking care of yourself and providing your brain with the proper nutrients and providing your body with the prop proper lifestyle, it does take time. It doesn't happen overnight. Now, when you start embarking on these process of prevention, it builds on itself. When we suggest things, for instance, like eliminate sugar from your diet, we know that that's hard to do for many people. Sugar is a very addictive a substance. In some cases, people say it's more addictive than heroin. I'm not sure I believe that, but I, but I also have heard that. Sugar is very addictive. So you have to start slowly but surely eliminating from your diet. Ultimately, what happens is you'll recognize when something that has a lot of sugar in it won't taste as good as it used to. So these are just the small steps. Now in the next two months, my partner and I, Anna, and Brain Love Health team is going to be introducing a complete step-by-step -step program that will walk you through the ways in which you can prevent Alzheimer's disease. In addition to that, we currently have a product on the market that you can find on our website, brainlovehealth.com, that helps with the hormonal changes that I'm talking about. That's what our products are designed to do. Help with those hormonal changes. Because unless you get rid of that LH spike, all these issues of aging are gonna progress at a, at a greater pace. We've got to lower the LH spike in order to stop the neuronal changes that are occurring, which we believe is the root cause of the Alzheimer's cascade. It's the triggering mechanism of luteinizing hormone that's causing neurons to do things they're not supposed to do. The neurons then create inflammatory effects. We get free radical damage and oxidative stress in the brain. We then start to get beta amyloid plaques and neurofibrillary tangles. But the root cause and I am saying this as emphatically as I can, the root cause is the dysfunction of the HPG axis when you hit menopause and andropause. So that's the start of a program which we believe is going to be life-changing for you and those that you love. Now, we're not the only people that are focused on this topic. There's a number of researchers, a Dr. Dale Bredenson, who has published some interesting studies that suggest lifestyle changes, diet, exercise, uh, better, better relationships have a significant impact on brain health. As a matter of fact, a study he published a couple weeks ago is the very first study that I've ever seen in Alzheimer's disease where over a one year period, applying their techniques actually improved cognitive scores and increased brain volume. That's never been done with a pharmaceutical before. And that is groundbreaking, absolutely amazing um, revelation for all of us. That it's not a pharmaceutical that's gonna come along and save the day. It's actually taking control of many parts of your life and you are able to prevent this problem from occurring. Now, Dr. Bredenson's study, in conjunction with other uh, physicians around uh, on the West Coast of the United States, focused on diagnosed mild cognitive impairment in early dementia patients. That's not what Brain Love's focusing on. 
Brain Love Health focuses on not getting diagnosed. Brain Love Health focuses on inter interjecting ourselves with you at midlife, at your midpoint, when your hormones are changing, and you know when they're changing, you can't sleep, you have hot flashes, you're moody, you're getting thick around the, the, your abdomen. All those things are indicators that your, your glucose is, is messed up, your hormones are messed up, you have all kinds of things occurring. I don't need to explain this to women that go through it. It's menopause and it affects everybody differently. In some, it's debilitating what they go through. We get interaction with individuals that basically, they can't even get out of bed during some of these periods. They can't go to work, they can't hold down a job because their brain is foggy, their mood is terrible, their anxiety levels are high. Those are hormones and that can be worked with. We can help you work on those issues. And once we start working on the hormonal issues, we start building on the nutrients. We start building on your exercise regimen. We start building on helping you get better sleep. And over time, not immediately, not in 24 hours, but over time, in a week or a month, you'll feel like a new person. So that program is being introduced next month. And we are working on the final details of it and we look forward to being able to present that with you. In the meantime, you can find Brain Love PM on our website, brainlovehealth.com, and that too will help with your hormonal imbalances. It will help you sleep, it will help you stay asleep, but it, the most important thing is it's balancing out those hormonal changes that occur at midlife. Now, I'd like to also mention, if you'd be interested in getting our free brain nutrient guide, go to our website, brainlovehealth.com and register on our, uh, on our uh, landing page and give us your email and we will send you a free guide that will help you on your journey to eat the right things and other recommendations to help you keep yourself healthy over a period of time. Remember, Dementia and Alzheimer's disease starts 20 to 25 years prior to you knowing you have the problem. Therefore, you need to intervene in your 40s and 50s, not wait till 60, 70, and 80. Although many of the things we offer, like Dr. Bredenson's program, can intervene at the point in which you're actually starting to have dementia issues and, they, and nutrients and other things, better sleep, a better sugar balance, all those things will help at any point along that spectrum. But if you wanna be proactive, if you wanna keep yourself healthy well into your 70s and 80s, mentally, cognitively, that needs to start in your 40s and 50s as you're starting to go through the hormonal changes at midlife. I can't put it any more emphatically than that. I believe so strongly that what we're doing here, the research we did, in the early 2000s identified the root cause and because of the manipulation of the research and pharmaceutical community, they were so myopically focused on beta amyloid plaques that they completely disregarded everybody else's research and I believe our research was valid. We proved it was valid. It had clinical significance in human clinical trials, but it was panned because it didn't fit the narrative of the day. So that's part one, part two, and now part three. And I wanna thank you all for listening. You can find this on our YouTube channel, as you, as you probably know, Brain Love Health. And we also post other content on our Instagram, at Brain Love Health, on a daily basis. We give tips, we, we're here to help. Our primary focus, mission, and motivation is to help keep you healthy long into your 70s and 80s. Keep that brain functioning well, keep it at its, its peak efficiency, and I believe the recommendations we're making will help you do that. Thank you very much. I'm Patrick Smith. Have a nice day.